friends out there welcome to Ram's life um, today I'm gonna I feel like eating some pepper pot you know pepper pot is a Guyana Amerindian dish and it, it's uh, been prepared most Christmas time but not necessarily uh, Christmas you can eat it anytime you feel like eating it right so I have some um, lamb here lamb chops right resident choice I bought three packs of lamb chops and um, this I'm gonna prepare it with uh, this these lamb chops you don't have to pressure it it boils naturally right I've already seasoned it quarter cup of cas rip four tablespoon of Chinese sauce I put some chives ground cinnamon some uh, popcorn melody right this is Chinese sauce and I had a married man and thyme inside I have a couple of sticks of cinnamon couple cloves inside this is the brown sugar I'm gonna prepare it with this I mixed all together right with one uh, hot pepper I got a bread here a nice rosy plat bread I brought from a Joss supermarket oh they got lots of nice stuff there at Joss supermarket uh, they're at uh, I think the address is 9025 Tobram Road I have it here yeah the address is 9025 Tobram Road in Brampton and uh, the phone number is 905-497-9025 one day I'll go in there and um, one weekend I'll go in there and vlog they have some very nice fresh stuff there fish meat whatever you want from the West Indies to you in Canada here so um, I bought this bread it was freshly baked I had to put it in a paper bag and then I put it in the plastic after it got cold and um, we we're gonna eat the pepper pot with the bread so um, I'm gonna pack these up and um, I'm gonna see you guys when I started it okay my friends I'm gonna start cooking this pepper pot now I had forgot to tell you guys I had three cloves of garlic also no onions right because pepper pot with a preservative in the cas rip and Chinese sauce it, it stays for days as long as you can eat it you just keep hot in it right so onion would kind of you know I, I don't add onion so um, I'm gonna start this now I'm gonna add some oil here about two tablespoon oil just want it to fry up a little before I add the water that's everything pretty easy dish to me very easy dish all right I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of brown sugar to golden brown sugar I'm gonna allow this to burn a little milk and get a little brown the weather is so nice you know it's uh it's a bit but I'm uh, not so still as uh, you know winter but, uh, can't wait for the summer to come to start cooking in my backyard here Add this the gas this smells good too. Oh yeah, it smells like I've got already. Yeah. So I'm gonna allow this to 
fry up a little in here you know when the meat start losing its water and get done then I'll add some water in it and keep it to boil. Remember this is just naturally boiled the type of lamb chops I bought is uh, boils very easily you don't have to pressure this in a matter of uh, 20 30 minutes this should be okay when it's uh, done so um, I'll give this a turn bring up the heat and uh, I'll leave this here to add the water in okay so I'll see you guys then okay my friends this meat is all fried up here now I'm gonna add the hot water remember I tell you this is the um, the remnants of the cow's whip in the bowl I don't want to waste any so I just rinse it and throw it in there and add some more water here for it to boil remember pepper pot you don't have to put in the fridge you don't have to put you know in no cooling system the ingredients it's made with it can stay for days as long as you keep hot in it and that's this water here and i'm gonna leave it to boil the meat should be okay in about 20 30 minutes let me taste it i added salt in when i season the meat Need some more salt. I'll add some salt inside. Okay. And I'll see you guys when the taste time comes. Okay, my friends. 25 minutes and pepper pot is done. Very soft meat. Okay, so on the bread is sliced there. So I'm gonna taste a piece here now. Just take out a piece here. Remember, this can leave on top of the stove and it can hot all the time. slice I'll take a middle slice of the bread here so you just saw what you do you what you have to do you just soak the bread in the gravy and it meat is very soft mm. Loses up in your mouth. Very nice Guyanese Amerindian dish. Remember, it's a festive Christmas morning dish, but um, any time of the year you feel like eating it, pretty easy to make. So um, I think this is all for now. Don't forget to subscribe and like and. Uh, let me know your comments. See you guys. Have a great weekend.